Last year, I recorded a video titled 20 Things I'm Not Buying in 2024. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about if I indeed stuck to the list, if I did not buy those 20 things and what impact it may have or did not have on my finances. So if you want to get to reviewing with me, then just go ahead and stay tuned. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. And first, I want to give you kind of like a recap on my finances. The purpose of not purchasing or buying certain things is so that I can indeed save money and maybe invest that money in something else, pay off debt, etc. So for 2024, I have paid off approximately around $20,000 worth of debt. And I've also saved about $10,000 approximately as well. So I had a pretty good year as it related to saving money and paying off debt. And the things that we're going to get into, I'm going to let you know if possibly the things that I didn't purchase actually contributed to me being kind of, you know, successful in paying off debt and saving money. So number one on the list, only buying clothes that serve me. I will say yes, I did stick to the script and I did not purchase any clothes that I didn't feel comfortable in or purchase any clothes and I said, okay, well, in three to six months, I'll be able to fit it once I lose weight. I didn't buy a whole lot of clothes, but the clothes that I did purchase, um, I didn't purchase anything that did not serve me. And yes, that indeed saved me money. And I do believe that it did contribute to my success in paying off debt and saving money. Coffee mugs. I explained to you guys last year that I 100% did not want to buy any more coffee mugs. I know for coffee drinkers, it's kind of like a, a thing that we do. You know, we buy these coffee mugs and each coffee mug may even bring a sentimental value to you. Um, but for me, I just saw it as purchasing clutter. Even though the coffee mug is cute at the time and I purchased it or someone may have given me the coffee mug, but I was looking for more of an aesthetically pleasing look as it came to my cabinet and how that looked. So no, I did not purchase any more coffee mugs in 2024. I do not feel like me not purchasing them um, contributed to me saving money or paying off debt because it wasn't like I went crazy and purchasing those things anyway. But the little 10, 20, 30 dollars that I may have saved in some coffee mugs that I may have purchased, I would say that um, I don't think that it helped to make a dent in debt or saving, but um, it did help me to reduce the clutter. Um, which in turn gives me a clear mind. So yes. Next up, Stanley Cup. Um, I did not purchase any Stanley Cups. <laughs> I actually don't own a Stanley Cup. I did think about buying one though. I will tell you, I'm not even gonna fib. <laughs> I did think about purchasing one and that was only because I am going to be getting a really great deal on the, the mug. So I haven't purchased it just yet and I really don't even know if I'm gonna purchase it I just figured because it's gonna be cheap like I think it may be like $15 and I believe that those Stanley Cups are like $40 and up but you know I don't know it's not really a big deal if I do end up buying the cup for about $15 I don't think that it will make or, or it will um, stop me from purchasing from saving money or paying off debt but so far for 2024, I have not purchased any Stanley Cups. I'm not a part of the Stanley Cup uh, fan fanatic club who just go out and buy everyone. That's not me. That's not my thing. So, um, yeah, that's that. Influencer led products. So this was something that was I knew was going to be a bit of a struggle for me because I love influencer led products, not only because I might like the product, but also because um, I am influenced by some of my favorite creators and I will say that I did not spend tons of money this year on influencer led products 
um, if any. Um, if I did purchase anything like for my home or for myself, it was something that I absolutely needed um, for like content creation or something for my home. But it's not, it wasn't led because the content creator was putting out an ad for it. Uh, there were times where I would, you know, add the item to my cart, but I just wouldn't purchase it because you can add the item to your cart, but then once you get to that checkout, the feeling's a little bit different. You're like, do I really, really, really want to spend this money on this item? So I will say that I did not uh, go crazy in that vein, and I do believe that not spending a lot of money on influencer led products did contribute to me being able to save and pay off debt so we will see if influencer led products will make it to the 2025 list stay tuned for that sale item. So this was another thing that was on the list. I stated that I didn't want to just purchase things just because it was not just because it was on sale. And I will say that I think I, I find colors on that one. Uh, just because it was on sale, it didn't uh, push me or lead me to go purchase those things. Uh, one of the things that you may not know about me, but you will find out about me is I am kind of like a minimalist. I'm not a minimalist in the sense of some people are like really minimal. I don't know if that helps you to understand <laughs> my level of minimalistic, but um, I don't like a lot of clutter. I don't like a lot of stuff laying around, things that I'm not using. Um, I do have, you know, a little bit of that, but I'm not crazy when it comes to that. So it was easy in 2024 for me not to just purchase things just because it was on sale. And I do believe that me cutting back from that and not doing it in 2024 did lead to me being able to save the amount of money that I did save and pay off debt. Planners. Oh my goodness. I am so proud of myself. In 2024, I did not purchase any planners at all. I didn't even have a desire to purchase these planners. I, it wasn't on my radar because my main goal was I want to save money. I want to pay off debt. I want to be able to uh, plan things for myself and um, in my life. And the products that I already have, it just works for me. And so I didn't stress myself out about the newest planner here and the newest planner there. I just use what I have. You know, they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I truly lived by that in 2024. So I did not purchase any planners. I didn't have a desire to. And I do feel like the purchasing of those things did help me to save money and pay off debt. Seasonal decor. Um, I do believe that not being um, really focused and honed in on seasonal decor definitely helped me to save money and pay off debt because decor is not cheap especially when you're purchasing it every season that's you know winter summer spring fall if you're not purchasing all of those items every time a new season enters into the year and then you have to not only purchase the seasonal items then you have to purchase storage in order to store those plate those items somewhere and i know some people go way like way 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 out when it comes to their seasonal decor um i did not purchase any in 2024 i honestly don't like it um that's my personal preference and i feel that it uh is more beneficial for me to have items that i can just look at all year um, I do believe that it did save me a great deal of money because when I would go into Target or go into Home Goods, which I think I only went into Home Goods maybe one time this year, maybe. Yeah, I think it was like one time. Um, I am not looking for those seasonal items as I would before. So I definitely believe that that saved me a lot of money wasting food <laughs> so i did have this on my list uh, i'm a person who will purchase food and i'll waste it i didn't do it as much in 2024 as i have done it in the past but i did notice that for this one um there were times where i did purchase food mainly the produce is where i'll find myself purchasing the produce but not using it and then it goes bad and then you have to go and purchase more. So I will say in 2024, I wasn't 
a hundred percent in not doing that, um, like making that improvement, but I did improve a little bit and I do believe that it did save me money. Um, I don't know like how much it contributed to it because I do have like a set budget for food, but, um, to be honest, I really don't know if it contributed <laughs> positively or, or not. I don't know. But I'm just happy that I didn't waste too much food in 2024. Starbucks coffee. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you something. I set myself free last year when I finally determined or or just made up in my mind and came to the realization that I do not like Starbucks coffee. I just don't like the way that it tastes. And maybe I'm not getting the right drink, but I don't like it. And the fact that I set myself free and I just finally confessed to not liking it, I don't even look Starbucks away, let me tell you. So I 100% believe that I saved a great deal of money by not purchasing Starbucks. I've even had people to ask me if they want, you know, they're like, hey, do you want anything from Starbucks? It might treat. I'm like, no, don't even waste your money. <laughs> How about that? Save your money. So I feel like I didn't I didn't only save myself money. I saved other people money, too, because when they would ask me if I wanted to have some Starbucks, I told them, no, I'm sorry. I just don't like it. You don't even have to ask me again. Like, I will never say, yes, I want some Starbucks. Like, I can definitely live without it. So. I save tons of money by not making those Starbucks trips. And I wanna encourage some of you guys to put this on your list for 2025. Cause some people literally go to Starbucks every day. I challenge you to go into your bank account and for you to calculate how much money this year did you spend on Starbucks when you can make your own Starbucks at home. Little homework assignment. You can leave it in the comments. How much money, if you are a Starbucks drinker, how much money did you spend on Starbucks last year? Scent boosters. Okay, this was something that um, I thought was gonna be hard for me not to buy, but it actually wasn't. And um, I did think about it sometimes, like, okay, well, maybe I could try it out again. And I said, nope, it's on my list of no buys. I'm not purchasing any scent boosters. And my clothes smell no different. <laughs> my clothes still smell good. So I actually did stick to the list and I did not purchase any scent boosters. And I do believe that it did save me money even in my household category when I'm spending money because scent boosters can be a little expensive. And I was able to save that money in that category and purchase it on something else um, that I may have needed. But yes, I do believe that not purchasing those scent boosters did add to, um, let me see the efficiency of my household fund that I have. So I think that was a good thing to put on my list in 2024. And I do believe that it's going to make 2025 as well. So this is the big one. Perfume. I said that I was no longer going to buy perfume full price and I will say that I failed, but I didn't fail big time. Okay. I did not fail big time. The perfume that I did purchase this year, for the most part, I purchased all my perfume when it was on sale. But there was the, if you are a perfume girly, then you know when Kay Ali, Mona, she brought the Silk Santal, she brought that back out and it was supposed to be limited edition. We didn't know at the time. And I hadn't smelled the bottle yet. And so I did buy two. Um, one was on sale, I believe, I think, no. I had a lot of gift cards. That's what it was. I had a lot of gift cards for one of them and then the other one, it wasn't on sale. So yeah, for that one, I know for sure I didn't um, have a sale on purchasing that those bottles. Um, and I thought that it was going to be limited edition. I mean, all of us thought that. And so I really wanted to get my hands on that one. So that one was full price. But the majority of the other perfumes that I did purchase, um, I did not um 
purchase full price. I did purchase them on sale. And moving forward, it will be the same thing. In 2025, I am going to only purchase perfume when it's on sale. I'm going to do my best. Okay, I'm going to do my best. But if the perfume never goes on sale and I really want it, I can't say that I am going to buy it. I can't say that because there is a bottle that I want. Um but it never goes on sale. And so that's the reason why I don't have it because I'm just like, I don't really want to dig in my pocket. It's the um, Esca Escapé Gourmand. I think that's the one it is. And I think I can get like a 10%, but I just, I just can't at this moment bring myself to purchase it. So I pass a little bit and I do definitely not purchasing perfume full price and having a plan to purchase it and using gift cards and other things, it can run you to the poor house. So for sure, not doing that allowed me to save more money in 2024. And it also allowed me to put more money towards my debt. Budgeting tools. I did not buy any budgeting tools. This video is getting a little bit long and I don't want it to be that long. But yeah, budgeting tools. I did not buy any budgeting tools in 2024. What else is on the list? Fast fashion. Um, not too much. Um, I have not gone on my, uh, what do they call it? A um, The wardrobe. They call it a, a, oh my goodness, at the tip of my tongue. Um... I can't think of it, but it's a wardrobe. It's a, um, oh my gosh, I really want to know what it's called. Capsule. <laughs> a capsule wardrobe. I haven't started on that yet, but um, I haven't purchased like a whole bunch of clothes. Um, and it not really, well, I it was fast fashion. So I guess I failed on that one because what I did buy, it was fast fashion. So. I, that one I failed and um but I didn't buy a whole lot of it I'll say that so yes it did contribute to me being able to save money hair I think I saved a lot of money in 2024 when it comes to hair because as you can see you guys have probably seen this hairstyle for the last six months because I think I've had this in my head for like six months already at this time <laughs> It's time for me to get my hair done again, but I will say in 2024, I was not changing my hair. I'm not even going to say just the style, like my hair, like I will leave it in for a long time. It's probably not the best thing to do, but I just don't have time to be worrying about my hair and the hairstyle and doing this and doing that. I, I don't have time. So I think that contributes a lot to the reason why I don't change my hair out because I don't have time to sit there and take it out. I don't have time or the mental capacity space to worry about it. So I just leave it in. And yeah, so it definitely has saved me money in 2024. And yes, it has contributed uh, positively to my financial goals. Food delivery service, that is has never been one of my things. I don't think that... Um, I will ever get into food delivery services. I 100% think that it's a waste of money. Um, I don't know how people do it. They do it often, sometimes daily. I have friends who do it and I'd be like, I don't know how y'all do that, but I just can't do it. So I never did it in 2024. It never was my thing. Yeah, I don't even know how it works. <laughs> if somebody told me, hey, order this on DoorDash, I would need to watch a YouTube video on how to even do it. I, I just don't, I, I don't like it. And yeah, so I did not waste money in 2024 on food delivery service. Bath and Body Works lotion, believe it or not, I bought not one bottle of Bath and Body Works lotion. And it's crazy because I used to buy so much of it. And now I don't. I just buy my Lucerin. <laughs> Eucerin, not Lucerin. <laughs> I buy my Eucerin and I have some oil and that's all I need. And then I have my perfume. But no, I have not purchased any Bath & Body Works lotion. And I do believe that it has contributed positively to the financial goals. Me not purchasing it has contributed positively to the financial goals that I had in 2024. Name brand water. Um, nope, I don't buy name brand water. Um, I really drink 
cheap water. I drink store brand uh, Stater Brothers water. I love it. So no, I have not wasted money on name brand water. The dollar section at Target or any other retail store, let me tell you, I think I have done amazing. I don't even look over there anymore. It's like, and I'm not even like forcing myself not to look. I just, it's just almost as if it's just not even there. So I am definitely happy that I am past that. I don't look over there. It doesn't interest me because I've already put in my mind that it's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of my energy. It's a waste of space in my house after I bring it home and then I never do anything with it. So I don't think that it has contributed positively to um, you know my financial goals because I never like bought a whole lot of it. But I do feel as though it um, helps me when I go into Target and I, I'm not wanting to, you know, drawn to go over there to see what is there. And I love that for me. Personal care items. I definitely did not waste my money on personal care items. I will say I did very, very well. I'm even back to using bar soap on my face. <laughs> And it's not like a desire of mine. Like, I don't want to do that. I do want like skincare items and things like that. Um, but I have decided that I'm, you know, I have my sinking funds and I'm going to save money towards it so that I can get some skincare items, at least for my face that I like. But in 2024, I did not waste money um, on it. And I won't even say like it's a waste of money, but I would say I didn't spend money on any skincare items, although I do want some. So yeah, um, that's that. And last but not least, I'm sorry, I had this long list. I didn't know it was gonna take so long. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, impulse shopping. Um, it definitely was a struggle in a sense of there were times where I did have the desire to impulse shop. However, I didn't do it. And um, I just wanted to make sure that I had a plan. And I do believe that me not impulse shopping did contribute positively to the financial goals that I have. So in summing all of this up, I wanted to make sure that I went back at that list and I looked at it to see, hey, did this work for me financially? So that in 2025, I can look back and say, okay, what am I gonna bring into this new year that's gonna help me to continue to meet my financial goals? I'm looking to save more money. I'm looking to pay off more debt. I'm looking to really make some financial uh, strides in 2025 and some successes. And so I believe in always looking back to see what worked and you double down on that and what didn't work, you find something else that will work. So I wanted to take a quick moment to insert this here. As I was editing the video, I wanted to make sure that I make clear, even though there were some things that I did state didn't overall help with maybe savings or it didn't make a huge impact. If you lump everything together, if you are to continue to spend on everything, even though one uh, in particular thing may not help you to save or pay off debt, when you lump everything together, it overall helps you to save money and pay off debt. So every dollar counts, every dollar adds up. And so if you're doing all of those things, it definitely can make a negative impact and you won't be able to save money or pay off debt. Bye y'all, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> and you make some uh, different changes. So I want to uh, encourage you to start thinking about 2025 um, because I will be creating my list again. So you guys will be getting an updated video of things that I will not be purchasing in 2025 in order for me to meet my uh, financial goals. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. Before I leave, I want to say happy Thanksgiving. This video is coming out on Thanksgiving. I want to tell you guys that I'm so thankful for each and every single one of you. I am thankful for your loyalty. I'm thankful for your, uh, your connection channel, the community that you bring that each and every single one of you, anyone who comments, likes, subscribe, anyone who, um, has ever thought about me, even when you weren't looking at the video. Um, I just thank you so, 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 so 
so, so, so much because without you, this community is nothing. And so you guys bring joy to my heart. And I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And I pray well being and wellness and prosperity. I don't want to say prosperity is probably the wrong word, but <laughs> that you are protected and that um, your finances increase in any way that you want them to. But I will see you besties in the next video. Go be great. Peace out.